Just want to give a big shout out to all my members. I really, really appreciate that. If you want to join, hit that join button, man. I'm going to do some giveaways, start doing some stuff for the members, man, because I really do appreciate everybody. It really helps out the channel. And I love everybody like Step Cousins. Man, I hope you're having a wonderful day or night. And as always, be good to yourself. Man, hell freaking Transformers. Yeah. Are you looking for action figures? Then head over to The Chosen Prime. The link is in the description. Just follow that. And man, they got everything your heart desires. Transformers, 5-2 toys, Power Rangers, Turtles, Marvel, DC, statues, whatever you want. Just go over and follow that link, man. You can order everything you want. Just order. Just go over there and order. Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night, and welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another freaking What's New in Transformers. Yeah, love talking about new stuff. Don't have it at hand. Just like to chit-chat about it. So sit back, relax, and let's talk about some new Transformers. All right, all right, all right. All right, up first, as always, add-on kits, add-on kits, add-on kits for days. And it looks like we got some new stuff and some old stuff from uh, Shockwave's lab. So let's click on see. So the first thing we got, man, these are cool. We got some blast effects that actually have light up effects too as well. That is very nice. They're five millimeter weapon system ports. Uh, so that's pretty cool. You get different colors. You get pink, purple, green, and orange. That looks nice. So you can use them for, you know, Earthrise, Siege, and all that stuff. And then the next thing is uh, we got some older stuff. Uh, we got some little screw covers for the uh, Micromaster. So, you know, they have that little screw, you know, thing in the on their chest. Um, I'm sure they'll fit other, uh, you know, uh, Transformers as well, uh, but this is mainly for the uh, War of Cybertron Micro Micromasters, so that's pretty cool. And then next we have, it looks like we got uh, some lighting effects. It looks like a base model linkage kit for Legacy Laser Optimus Prime or Scourge, so that's pretty cool. So you can link up some stuff. Uh, it looks like uh, the arc will also uh, come into play as well. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So a little linkage, kind of base mode linkage kit for a Legacy Laser Optimus Prime or Scourge. So that's pretty neat. Then we got a great kit for G.I. Joe Megatron. I don't know if anything can fix this, but you also got some, uh, looks like some gap fillers and looks like a new uh, Gatlin gun. So, you know, that's pretty cool if you like that. Then we got a filling kit for uh, Legacy Siege Impactor. So you got to fill in those waffles. That is awesome. Mm hmm and then also another uh, filling kit for Legacy Seed Soundwave or Sound Blaster. So once again, fill in some gaps. And then there's Soundwave from uh, Shatterglass. Fill in some gaps for him as well. That's pretty cool. And there's uh, another, there's the Netflix Soundwave and also some gap fillers for him. And that is it. So there you go. A lot of good stuff. Uh, some gap fillers and some, uh, you know, lot up uh, effects for the uh, blast effects. That's pretty cool. I mean, I'd like to order some of those. And it looks like DNA Designs giving us a upgrade for Transmetal 2 Megatron. For uh, this is DK-40. So you get a new chest, and it looks more Transmetal. It's got some nice metallic paint, that orange and red. Uh, you get the hair thing. I think that was a part of uh, with Inferno. Kind of the funny thing with that one scene. I don't. I forgot what it was, but. Looks pretty, that's pretty nice. That's a nice little add-on. You get a new head crest and you get three new faces. That looks pretty cool. You get like a mean girl, you know, mean scally face, a happy face. Uh, you get a new hand uh, with a pointing finger. That's awesome. And you get two new extensions for the tail, so make it a little longer. So that's right. Really, and it looks like it's got the metallic paint job on there as well. So yeah, pretty cool. It's already a great figure already, but this add-on kit will make it a lot better. So there you go. DNA Designs this is uh, DK40 for Transmetal 2 Megatron. All right, moving on to third-party Legends news. It looks like Pengu Toys is giving us Omega Supreme. Ooh. So this is a, you know, a test sample. It's not that it has been, you know, painted or anything like that. Um, it looks pretty, pretty cool. Um, now, is Pengu Toys, is this Papa Toys or something else? Another, you know, another third-party company that they're branching off of. I've never heard of, heard of Pengu Toys. Uh, somebody hit me up in the comments telling me, uh, you know, is this a new company? Uh, that's pretty cool. Or if it's, you know, just a branch off of another one. Uh, but yeah, it looks pretty cool. You get a little blast effect and you get the little, I forgot what that little guy, the little robot down there, what he was for. Was he in one of the episodes or something? Uh, I, I forgot. But anyways, yeah, it looks pretty cool. So there you go. Pangu Toys is giving us a, it looks like a uh, Omega Supreme. And it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Oh man, then we got this little teaser from New Age, H53 Michael. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Oh my goodness. Then we got a little teaser from New Age. This is H53 Michael saying, warning, warning, traitor must be terminated. I think this might be Omega Supreme. And I was just saying, you know, we just talked about the other Omega over there. I was like, I was hoping that either New Age or Magic Square would make one. I'm thinking this might be actually Omega Supreme. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait for this. 
H53 Michael. Who do y'all think it is? A little teaser. I love it. And I got a couple of new picks from New Age. They're giving us some new stuff for the Inferno mold. Uh, up first is going to be, looks like a green and mustard yellow. Maybe a gold kind of a thing going on. I don't know what character this is, uh, but the paint job looks freaking spectacular as always. Look at that. It looks really nice, man. I love that head sculpt. So yeah, that's one. Now we'll get more pictures later on, but uh, I was sent these from my boy Eric, and I thought I'd go over these. And we're getting a clear, uh, you know, uh, grapple or grapel. <laughs> I say grapple. Uh, but, you know, clear grapel, you know, they're doing all the clear stuff with that. That looks good. So lickable. Mm, looks like a thing of little Jolly Ranchers. And we're also getting an Inferno, too, as well. So that looks good as well. Love it. I can't wait. I love all the clear Transformers. So there you go. There's a couple things. Like I said, there will be more pictures uh, later on, and I'll uh, put those out when they come out. And up next, we got new images and box images of Magic Square Toys MS-B49 Spider Gear, which is their gears, and MS-B50, which is Energy, which is their wind charger. And yeah, they're coming out. I think they're already starting to ship already, and that's, that's wild. I think we got our first look last week, and now they're just starting to ship off. That is pretty cool. So they kept these under wraps for a while. So yeah, it looks really good. Nice articulation as always. The car molds look pretty good. You know, you do got that, you know, plastic with them. Uh, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. We don't have a gears or a wind charger. That is awesome. And uh, we got the new box images too. So yeah, they should be shipping out pretty soon. So there you go. We got gears and wind charger from Magic Square. All right, let's go on and move on to the MP third party news. And it looks like Fans Hobby gave us a little teaser of their Armada Galvatron. So it's going to be a recolor of their Megatron from the Armada mold. And I love that Armada Megatron. Looks, it was fun. It's awesome. Definitely going to get this one. It looks really good. So there you go. You can see some kind of silver paint. looks like kind of a pinkish uh, for the horns. Uh, so yeah, it looks nice so far, what you can see. But yeah, that's cool. I love little teasers. That's Fans Hobby. The foe is on the way. This is their Galvatron from Armada. And also for Fans Hobby, we got a little teaser, or not a little teaser, but just uh, MB-19. This is Double Agent Sticker Sheet Preview. All right, so we get to put stickers on them. Man, I hope they're better than the Hasbro ones. I think they will be. Uh, but that's pretty cool. Get an option of uh, some stickers and everything. So there you go. Fans Hobby, MB-19 Double Agent Sticker Sheet. Hopefully we'll be getting this guy out pretty soon. And we got another look at one of the Toy EZs. This is JS-04. This is Hobby Terrapa. Hope I said that right. Uh, this is part of the uh, Battleship Combiner. And this one looks freaking awesome. I think this is probably more likely going to be the body part. Because, man, this uh, Battleship is long, strong, gets friction on Love that little display stand. Love the bot mode. Really menacing. Really cleans up pretty good. A little kibble in the back, but not terrible. But man, I really love the battleship mode. And like I said, the bot mode looks really nice as well. So yeah, this is uh, one of their uh, you know, toy easies, part of their uh, battleship combiner. I'm still waiting for the first one uh, from Chosen Prime to come in so I can get those and see if I want to you know, complete the set. But there you go. This is Toy Easy JS04. And uh, this is another battleship. All right. All right. Then up next, we have new box images of SND-08. This is the one. This is their Optimus Prime, uh, kind of an IDW style. I've talked about this a couple times already. And it looks like he's fixing to come out. Uh, so if you, you know, kind of want a chuggish, kind of an IDW Optimus Prime uh, kind of thing, this is, will, you know, be your, be your cup of tea and everything. So, yeah, look, you know, highly articulated. Uh, the paint doesn't look like it's having a whole lot of paint. Kind of looks like the Magic Square uh, kind of plastic, but we'll see. Um, I'm probably in for this guy. It looks pretty cool. So there you go. New box images of SND08, the one. This is their Optimus Prime from IDW. All right, up next, looks like Show Z is giving us a new images of their uh, DX9 Toys carry. This is supposed to be the metallic version. And I don't see it being metallic. It kind of looks like what the original one is from. I don't know. It might be just me or they just didn't take good enough pictures. But yeah, it looks exactly like the original one. And it likes it's supposed to be have a metallic paint job. Uh, so I, I don't know. We'll see. I really wanted this. Uh, I, you know, I love the mold. Uh, but if it's going to be the same one as we have, eh, you know, I'm going to have to pass on that. But there you go. This is supposed to be the DX9. This is Kerry. This is a metallic version. What do y'all think? Do you see metallic on there? All right, moving on to official news and Transformers Rise of the Beast costumes and accessories line announced by Disguise. All right, so you got some costumes. You got Rise of the Beast Rhinox Classic Muscle Costume. You got a Cheetor Classic Muscle Costume. You also got an Optimus Prime Classic Muscle Costume and also a Bumblebee mass, uh, Muscle Costume uh, for Toddler. And you got also a Toddler for the, uh, looks like Bumblebee Classic Muscle Costume. And also for Toddlers, you got a Optimus Prime Muscle Costume. And you got some accessories too as well. So you got Rise of the Beast Optimus Prime Blaster. 
Rise of the Beast Bumblebee Plasma Cannon Blaster, and Rise of the Beast Bumblebee Stinger Sword. While the Optimus Prime Blaster is a brand new accessory, Bumblebee uh, Plasma Cannon Blaster and Stinger Sword will be reissue repaints of the same accessories from the uh, Bumblebee movie line. Uh, this will supposed to be hitting shelves in 2023. All right, we got some new stuff and some you know muscle suits and accessories. And we got a new rumor, new collaborative GI Joe Thunder Machine Soundwave is coming. Now I talked about this earlier in the week, uh, but you know the more I thought about it, the more I'm just not. I don't think it's going to be good. I don't see the Thunder Machine as Soundwave. I don't. I don't see who I don't really know who would be good for the Thunder Machine. Uh, I do like the Dreadnoughts and I love the uh, I love the you know the uh, Thunder Machine, but I don't know. I just don't know if Soundwave is going to be a good fit. I, you know, I could be wrong. You know, it could be the best thing ever uh, that comes out, but I, I just know for sure. After you know messing around with Bumblebee and I've heard some bad things about Megatron, I just don't think this is going to be good. But we will see. I can be wrong as always. I'm never, you know, never say that. So there you go. Got a new collaborative G.I. Joe Thunder Machine is going to be Soundwave coming. All right. Then we got our first look at Rise of the Beast Smash Changer Optimus Primal. All right. So it looks like it's going to be a themed morning. It appears uh, we have our first look at the Smash Changer Optimus Primal figure reportedly found in Turkey. So that's pretty cool. And the upscaled and cleaner images have been added as well. So you can see a better pics of it. Uh, so there you go. So if you Kind of like that thing. There you go. Smash Changer, or yeah, Smash Changer Optimus Primal. First look. Then we got our first in hand images of Transformers Legacy Evolution Deluxe Class Junkion. So this is completely a new uh, deluxe mold of the new Junkion character, which hasn't been officially revealed yet. So he's got no official name so far. Uh, he's the second new Legacy Deluxe Junkion after Scrap Hook. Uh, this new mold really looks like a classic Junkion, quite similar to the Retgar, even with a mustache. And he also transforms into a futuristic motorcycle. Several parts of the alt mode can become weapons for the other robot modes, including one of the wheels can uh, be used as a, uh, you know, as a Shunkerin or something, Shurkin. And you can even attach Retgar's wheels uh, to it as well. Uh, we have comparison shots uh, next to the other Junkions and everything. So yeah, it looks pretty cool. That's also awesome that you can also use him for other, you know, weapons as a weaponizer. So that's pretty cool. So there you go. in hand images of Legacy Evolution Deluxe Class Junkion. All right. First in hand images of Transformers Masterpiece MP56 Trailbreaker. All right. So you see the box. You got the clamshell. You get everything that comes with it. Uh, nice little blast effect. You can see the alt mode. Uh, you can see the, uh, you know, the open up the hood. You can see the uh, engine and everything. Looks like you get a sticker sheet too as well. So, you know, you know we'll see about that. Uh, you get a couple of pictures of the bot mode, so really nice. I'm excited for this guy. I got this coming from uh, Amazon Japan. Uh, definitely, I had the Fans Toys one, but it kind of wanted to see what this one's all about. And uh, I can use one for alt mode and use one for uh, bot mode and everything. So there you go. First in-hand images of MP56 Trailbreaker. And yeah, I'm kind of excited to get this, fella. All right, up next, we got five surprise toys, Benny Brand Series 3 Transformer Cyberverse Miniatures. Uh, for those of you who don't know, which I don't know, uh, Toy Mini Brands is a line of blind bag toys by Zuru, uh, where the capsules contain miniaturized versions of popular toy lines. And they will include in this wave the Cyberverse Spark Armor Optimus Prime, uh, Sky Turbine, and Megatron and Chopper Cut Miniatures. Uh, they're non transformable, uh, non -transformable and uh, no articulation at all due to the tiny size. Uh, they come randomly packaged in a five pack mini blind capsule, and uh, they're part of a collection of uh, almost 100 miniatures. And uh, they'll be uh, expected to be released in January 1st of 2023 for about $14.99. All right, good stuff. All right, the last thing we're going to talk about is a possible first look at Legacy Core Class Thundercracker. Uh, this figure is a direct redeco of the original Kingdom Core Starscream. He comes with a very nice shade of, li uh, shade of light blue and in includes his null rays as well, which, you know, Skywarp did not, which I understand they did the weapon thing, but come on now, you got to give him this, uh, you know, null rays. But as usually take this with a grain of salt until we get official confirmation. But keeping this in mind, this has been reported before as, you know, as a list uh, for 2023 stuff to come out. You know, but they were going to get it anyways when we get Starscream and Skywarp. You got to get a Thundercracker. So there you go. There is a first look at uh, Legacy Core Class Thundercracker. Well, all right, folks, that's all I have this week for news. Not a whole lot, but man, we got some great stuff. I know it is kind of tail end of the holidays and everything. And, you know, Chinese New Year's Feast come out in February and a lot of not a whole lot of new stuff is going to be coming out. But man. That Omega Supreme, maybe from New Age, I'm 
I'm really excited for that. That looks really cool. We got the Magic Square Gears and a Wind Charger. Just a lot of great stuff, man. I'm excited for that Galvatron for fans hobby. So yeah, so hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go ahead and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. It really helps out the channel. And hit me up some comments. Tell me what you're excited for. Is you excited for any of this stuff? And I guess I'll see you in the next uh, What's New in Transformers. And as always, be good to yourself. Man, hell freaking Transformers. And good night, folks.